One local school says since the start of the pandemic, there have been zero COVID-19 infections on campus. St. Michael's on the east side is a private K-8 school with 270 students. Not on your side, Taj Davis spoke with the parent of one student and the head of the school. We're one of the very few schools that have gone 18 months without any transmission on campus, without one person on campus having it. Parents and officials at St. Michael's School tell us it's had zero COVID-19 transmission on campus. In the beginning of the pandemic, my son is an only child. He struggled emotionally. I mean, just it was his birthday and the world shut down. Why can't we go to the park? Why can't we do this? He was only just turning seven. The world shifted for so many people like Katie Bailey and her third grade son, Peyton. Head of school, Brendan Sullivan, says he and many physicians and medical professionals who were also parents at the school came together to figure out how to mitigate COVID-19 as much as possible. We just, you know, followed recommendations along the way, masking and hand washing and, and physical distancing in particular were the most important components of that. And then enacted with parents earnest communication about keeping their kids home if there's any signs of illness. Parents have responded so well to all of it but in particular to being the first point of, of screening, as it were, at home for health. School nurse Erica Huff says school should be the safest place for children. She says the school's measures and mitigation are that of a Swiss cheese model. You know, from hand washing to distancing to masking to vaccines, those kind of fill in all the little gaps um, to, you know, to make it so effective. It's not just one thing that keeps us safe. They have done a lot of things that I think are pretty unique that I see other schools that aren't doing like giving lower grade students yoga mats because yoga mats are six feet long and providing dozens of hand washing stations outdoors. Every single time St. Michael's has made a decision, it seems that every other school is lagging behind. And I think that might be part of the mitigation being so successful rather than waiting two or three weeks for numbers to spike. And though the school's efforts have been so successful thus far, Sullivan understands there's still a long year ahead where anything can happen. As well as we've done and as happy as we are with the results, you know, we, we don't know how it will play out, uh, you know, in the next week, month and beyond. Uh, mm -hmm. We're hopeful and doing our part to, to do all we can to keep people healthy and safe. But, uh, you know, we're, we're just, I guess, keeping our fingers crossed that, it, that the success continues, you know. Sullivan says there are still no reports of COVID cases, but the school's mitigation efforts will continue throughout the school year. Taja Davis, KGA 9 on your side. So here's a question. How can